The kids in McLean are just super special to me. They put a smile on my face every day. They're so intelligent. They have so much energy and enthusiasm for whatever they're learning. McLean students are the hardest working, kindest, bravest students that I've ever had. I've never had a kid quit on me, uh, even when it's hard and it's rough. And I don't think that you can find kids like who are this creative and this bright um, and this funny at any other place. So the great thing about our students here at McLean is they all learn in, in different and unique ways. And it's unlocking that potential. It's allowing them to be as great as they can at, at who they are that is so powerful here. And our teachers take advantage of professional development as a way to build those tools uh, to support each other and to reach their students and allow them to be their best selves. I think it's really important to keep learning so that you can have as many tools in your toolbox as possible. I learned how to do the Orton-Gillingham methodology when I took the 30-hour training. Orton-Gillingham is a multi-sensory explicit method of teaching kids how to read. It does work um, because my kids can read now. Some of my kids came in as non-readers or they were really struggling and now I've seen amazing growth. It's, it's like the, the most fulfilling moment that you can have as a teacher. Their world is on a you know eight or nine inch screen now when I'm teaching something. I have to keep in mind that the kids have something in their pocket or in their hands that knows way more than I do. We expect the kids to continue learning and I think we have to expect the same for teachers as well because things change in a heartbeat. Professional development allows you to sort of break through that bubble to see what else is out there to help enhance your classroom and your teaching. Being a student myself gives me a lot of compassion for my students because I'm much more sensitive and it's present to me what it feels like when I have to sit and listen to a lecture but I'd really rather have a snack. I want you to just take a moment, check in with yourself before we begin. What helps with mindfulness is that it's not just something that I've been fortunate enough to learn and take advantage of, but it's a professional development that's been afforded to the entire McLean uh, community. Relax the muscles. It's, it's the best feeling in the world to watch a kid take something that you've taught them and grow and adopt it into their everyday life. Professional development gives us the opportunity to grow as educators. Things are changing, skills are changing, and we need to be up to date. And I'll give you a perfect example. When my students were ready to take a higher Spanish class, and I had never thought it before, so I was given the opportunity to go to William and Mary and take our course for, for a whole week. And that prepared me to come back and teach them the higher Spanish. And as a result, uh, historically, my AP Spanish kids do really well on their uh, uh, AP Spanish exam. My favorite part of teaching is when we're doing an activity and I hear shrieks of joy. Oh, it's working, it's working, it's working! These students that I'm teaching today will have jobs using technology that hasn't even been created yet. Oh my God, it's so cool. And if there's not professional development to help us learn the different technology, then we're doing a disservice to our students. Look, it's working, it's working. You know, my new car is a hybrid that's completely computer controlled. I wouldn't take it to a mechanic that is still look just checking under the hood in a traditional way. You know, you shouldn't take your child to a school that isn't up on the latest educational pedagogy and general knowledge about your child. Don't let me mess this up. Ruth. Professional development is vital. You have to know what's current in your field. So we need constant technology training. I've had some wonderful technology training. The school has sent me to conferences where I learned how to use my interactive projector, where I learned about online resources. I learned about a powerful online graphing tool that let me show a topic that used to take four days and let me show it in one. That's a gift to everyone involved. Time is always a gift.
My favorite part of teaching is when an entire class gets it. If you can set it up so that you're invisible, so that you didn't give them the aha moment, but they gave it to themselves, but you prepared it for that to happen, they all went away. That, that's the best day. That's what we should all be going for. So we're lucky that we can attract the best teachers here at McLean. It's, it has to do with the wonderful culture we have and the wonderful parents and students. We want to keep them. We want them to feel valued and rewarded. We want to keep them at the top of their game. Oh, I love teaching at McLean. I love it. I like teaching at McLean uh, because of the community uh, and the sense of freedom to uh, take risks and chances in my classroom to innovate. And my kids are not cookie cutter kids, so I have the flexibility um, to reach those learners in all different ways. It's a really, really special community. It's without pretense. We know our kids. We fight for our kids. I've never worked with a teacher here who didn't bring their A game day after day. Those are the things that, at the end of the day, that make my job really feel like a passion.